Blues, it's your girl AVLN back again with another video and this week we went indoor skydiving. Now I, I know what you're thinking, black people don't skydive. I know, I get it, I get it. So skydiving has always been something I wanted to try but because of the price of actual skydiving I figured the next best thing to do would be to indoor skydive. It's a lot safer, I can't plummet to the earth, I won't die. There's a lot of pros that you get with indoor skydiving. After a grueling day of work, and I'm being completely facetious because I work in a restaurant and the coronavirus has completely ruined my life and I don't even have it. But anyways, I took the train up to iFly DC in Baltimore and boy did we have a time getting there. Okay guys, what's up? I'm currently at the train station that's going to lead me to the bus stop that's going to take me to the skydiving place. I only got maybe three hours of sleep last night. I had to wake up at three o'clock this morning to be at work by five o'clock and then I got off work and I got straight on the train to come here. So we had to get a little caffeinated. I needed the, the boost. I needed the extra kick. Let's, let's do this. I'm excited. I'm not really so nervous. I mean, I'm by myself. I don't have a videographer today. It's a little, it's a little lonely. You know, I feel like Isaiah should be holding the camera, but it's just me on my phone right now. So, and also I didn't charge the camera battery, so it's over there charging. Um, I'm, I'm not a good videographer when I have to do things myself. We're gonna we're gonna chill for a bit. I have about like two hours before our actual dive time. Now, originally I thought while I was sitting at the station, like, oh, we got time. We have time to relax, decompress, chill. You know, kind of getting my mind right to jump into a, a wind tunnel of doom. You know, just. Just the simple stuff, the simple stuff. I guess you can count my very relaxed nature about how much time I have before it's time to be there, my first mistake of the day. Okay, I am really feeling the coffee, guys. It, it has really kicked in. It's, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So I'm, I'm ready now. I'm ready to, to jump into a wind tunnel. I really am. So we're waiting for the bus. Kind of gives me anxiety because I'm in a foreign town, you know. I don't come to Baltimore very often. I don't have anything to do here. So for some odd reason, I have this really weird anxiety that anytime I'm in a new place, I'm gonna get lost. And, and it causes my brain to make decisions that I wouldn't normally make because I, all this anxiety is just building up. And I'm like, something's gonna happen, something's gonna happen, something's gonna happen. And in turn, I make something happen because I'm so worried something's gonna happen. Case in point. Great news, we missed our stop on the bus because this creepy old black guy kept talking my f***ing head off. So now we have to walk back to the right bus stop, get on the right bus. Y'all, I, I knew I was gonna f*** up the directions and this happens every time I ride the bus. This happens every time I come to a new area. So, what is happening? I just remember when I was like, I got on the wrong bus and I, oh, I'm such a, I'm such a dumbass. We missed our stop. Well, here's what happened. So there's good news and there's bad news. The good news, actually, let me start with the bad news and we'll end on a positive note. So the bad news is that the bus that I was on was not going to get me there by my fly time. It was going to get me there like 10 minutes after and that's a no-go. And that gave me a lot of anxiety. So I decided to get off the bus in this random ass McDonald's parking lot, shout out McDonald's, and uh, call an Uber. So I'm about maybe 17 minutes away, as you can see. Baltimore traffic is getting kind of bad. Actually, it's getting real bad. That's the good news. We're gonna make our appointment. Bad news is I'm riddled with anxiety because I feel like I'm not gonna make it. But you know, we, we gonna get there. I'll see y'all there, hopefully. Thank God for Ubers and low afternoon traffic. <laughs> and with just six minutes to spare, wait. Six minutes to spare, we made it on time. Took me a little vacay, do a little skydiving. Uh -huh. All right, thank you. You have a great day. Thank you. She was so nice. All right, let's do this. So after our lovely, grandiose arrival of almost missing our appointment time, we checked in and joined the rest of the group that we'd be flying with that day. Did you have any way to uh, I did not. I didn't know that was a waiver. <laughs> I'm sorry. This place kind of lit. It got the copyright and music playing. So, look how cool this place is. Like, there's look how fucking high this tunnel goes. I can't even I can't even get up in there to show you guys what it looks like. I'm currently putting my stuff in my locker. It's almost time to fly. You see the tunnel? Oh my god. I'm actually kind of nervous. There's not that many people here, but you know how I am, y'all. I'm a little anxious. 
this all the time. I like take out more jewelry, all my necklaces, and just flip that up. Oh, I gotta take off my daddy chain, y'all. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Y'all, this tunnel look a little bigger than I thought it did on the internet. Hopefully, I can still film. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to keep my phone with me. We gotta make a good video. Oh wait, she said take my shoes off first. Right, so I'm not following any of the rules. Apparently, y'all gotta watch a little safety video that I guess will tell me how to like not die in this tunnel of wind and fury. It's like, it's kind of like the Wizard of Oz, but you know, like I want the tornado to sweep me up and steal all the breath out of my body, you know? He's doing it. He's doing it right. <laughs> I hope I do it right like that. <laughs> so after changing into my flight suit, I was instructed to watch a little safety video on what to do. But I'm not gonna lie, I was trying so hard to film that I completely disregarded the what to do when you get in the tunnel video. I know, I know, I know. It was dumb. But it wasn't like I was gonna die. It's a tunnel of wind. Like, I guess that's what tornadoes are. You know what? Let's get on with the rest of the video. Watching a video. Probably supposed to be paying attention. Y'all see my cool outfit? Ooh. Like I'm going to the moon. Like I'm a part of NASA, y'all. So I waited my turn and they called me up. And as soon as I got up there, they're like, okay, you remember the hand signals, right? And I'm like, oh, f I am okay. We get into the wind tunnel and he starts immediately giving me the hand signals. I have no idea what's going on. Didn't watch the video, so I have no idea what the hand signals mean, what he's directing me to do. I was the whole time. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but there was literally a point of like the first 30 seconds of me in the tunnel just saying, I don't know what that means. What hand signal was that? Like I'm just completely freaking out and the guy can't hear me because we're in a tunnel of wind. So it's just, he's, he's doing the most, I'm doing the most, we're both doing the most. <coughs> oh my God, I'm joking. <coughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Y'all almost thought I had Corona for a second. Oh, I, I know that may sound insensitive, but every time I cough, I be like, Corona? Back to the video, God. So eventually I get my shit together and it becomes a pretty enjoyable experience. I get two flights with this package and in my second flight, I paid more money to go higher in the air. It's go time, you know, I'm, I'm damn near a pro at this point. So we go in the tunnel again, he takes me up, but this time <laughs> we high flying. So, you know, I'm, I'm in the air like, like, you know, doing my thing. Y'all see, y'all see, y'all see what's going on. And things are actually going really well this time. You know, I'm doing the arms, you know, my legs are spread, you know, I'm doing my thing. But a huge freaking snot rocket just flies, like just projectiles out of my nose. I don't know. I don't know how it happened. I don't know if the guy actually felt it, but I definitely felt it on my face. Like I, like you can see in the video, like I'm like, wiping like I'm, I'm so self-conscious because i'm like i know the people down here can definitely see snot on my face if i got snot on my face they have a league and i think i'm like a professional skydiver now so i can totally do it you know this is so much fun Ooh. omg i got this super cool certificate saying i'm a professional skydiver hi guys so i guess he's on the train heading back to DC. If you like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe, because if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? I, I don't understand what you're even doing. And if you do end up subscribing, make sure you hit that bell right next to the subscribe button because YouTube does not always let you guys know what I post. So I would hate for you to miss all this good train glory. I'm gonna find the snack car. You guys stay tight and I'll catch you another late night. Bye. Did you like